and this is EMO's Creative Studio. Today's video is going to be a short video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tour of my two sewing spaces. One is the original sewing studio and the second one is my mini sewing studio where I do all of my sewing now. So let's get started. So this is the original sewing studio. This is on the second floor of our home. This would be the living room, dining room area of the second floor because this used to be a two-family home and my husband converted it to a single-family home. So these are the windows that face south, I believe. And there you can see our tables and cabinets where I have all of my items. Right now, this is more of a storage area than a sewing studio because I had to move downstairs to the first floor. You can see, let me see if I can, back there, back there against the wall right there is something called a design wall. And what it is is a piece of flannel that you can get or a piece of fleece you can get. I actually spent the money and bought an actual um, gridded design wall where you can put your blocks up and you can see how you're going to put together your blocks. The block that's up there right now is called a card trick, a very difficult and very tedious um, block to make. I cut all the fabric. I have it to make, I have all the fabric cut out to make a quilt the size, queen size, I believe, either full or queen size. And by the time I got around to the fifth or sixth block, I was already tired of making it. I eventually will go back to doing it because, like I said, for me, it's very tedious. I want to hurry up and get everything done. So this is the second floor. This is the original sewing studio for me. Uh, again, you'll see that it's got all of my bins of fabric where I have everything in storage right now because I can't take everything downstairs to the first floor. So let's pop on down to the first floor and see what the mini studio looks like. So now we are here at the mini studio and this sewing studio is in one quarter of my bedroom. I was lucky enough that my husband said, sure, go ahead, make your sewing space down here. You're done on the first floor if I need you for anything, you'll be able to, to come out to see me when I'm out in the garage rather than having you run down the stairs. I have difficulty with stairs. So right here against this window, which faces the east, is where I put my sewing machine. As you will see, I have a lot of lighting. Not only do I have the lighting for when I do uh, videos, I also have the lighting so that I can see whether I'm sewing during the day or at night. I am... Pretty lucky I found lights that will give me enough brightness to see. This is the third machine that I'm going to be putting on this table. I decided that I was going to bring down the professional machine because I was going to be down here for a very long time, uh, in this area for a very long time, so I needed something more practical to sew. This machine is a professional machine. It goes faster. The only thing that I don't like about this machine is that it only has one stitch, which is a straight stitch. If I want to do a zigzag, I'll have to pull out my other machines. Uh, the machine is on a sewing pad, which I've shown you in a previous video. It's on a makeup table. In the corner is a regular um, picnic table that I've converted to my cutting table ironing space. I have a, an old ironing board that I recovered with uh, some brightly pink fabric that you'll see in the upcoming videos that I do all my ironing on. I have limited space here for my storage, so I have boxes underneath the tables where I have things, fabric, batting, and other items that I may need for my sewing usage. You can see right here I use a chair that I can swivel from one section to the other when I'm doing my sewing. I do have a shelf in the closet that I have another bin where I have some fabric. As you saw upstairs, I can't be bringing everything down because this whole bedroom would be taken over. Thank you, hon, for making my sewing area so pleasant to be working in. I love it, I love it, I love it. A little story about my sewing studio. I live in the northeast part of Wisconsin near Green Bay. I am originally from Chicago, so I am a Chicagoan. 
I moved to Wisconsin because I got married and my husband had a home here in Wisconsin, a large two-family home that he converted to a single-family home. There are two floors. The second floor in the living room, dining room area is where he put my sewing studio. We set up the tables, he made me an ironing board. It was just wonderful. Unfortunately, things a couple of things happened that had me move down to the first floor so I could be a little bit more convenient that if uh, he called me to help him do something, I'd be able to come out quicker and not fall down the stairs because I have difficulty going up and down stairs. So, um, the little sewing studio down here on the first floor is sufficient for me. I love it. Everything is close and personal. I can look out the window if I want. I can hear everything that's going on. I just love it. So thanks, hon, for making me my little studio. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, my name is Liz. This is EMO's Creative Studio, now that you know what it looks like. Happy quilting, happy sewing, like, subscribe, let your friends know about my videos. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Whoa.